Welcome back, and we have a little upgrade today. Uh, the resolution is higher for this video. I hope this works well. The game is looking, interestingly, a lot better. I did not expect um, such a change for Crusader Kings 2. I mean, I, I suspected some changes for some games, but this is interesting. This looks much better. Um, I am really, really impressed. Anyhow, so I did scale the UI a little bit. So the UI is a little bit fuzzy, just so the text is a wee bit more readable. Um, yeah, I thought I'd point that out. We're still at our war, uh, which I didn't choose to start, but well, there we have it. And we're fighting over this city down here, which we just acquired in a different war. And I don't think we can really do much. They have more money than us. They also have more troops than us. But this is a mountainous area, so they have really only two options. Either they attack directly here, or they attack us at home. I'm not sure which one's going to be which. Um, I, I should probably look into red news at some point. They're very expensive and we don't always have the money for that. So right now, militarily speaking, we're not in a good spot. We are still recovering from our war to take this in the first place. But if we play it safe and if we get some decent um, commanders in here, we might have a chance. This doesn't look too great in terms of what we have in potential commanders but I mean it's two more than we probably had so we'll raise our armies even though we don't get enough we'll raise our fleet to immediately bring down our troops here and we'll just hope that they attack us there they might not they might come for Venice. So I'll put up our fleet here. Which should give us some more viewing area. They do have some ships out. And we need to be careful because we lose money quickly with the ships up and about. Okay, yes, very good. Let's be comforted by one of our lovers. So it doesn't look like they're coming. They have only plains terrain areas. Oh, down here is mountains. So we could attack them in their capital. And I think that's what we're going to do because they seem to be involved in some other war as well. So let's get our troops here and attack their capital. Because I think they're going to stick with those troops that are not their own. And we can just siege here. Let's assign our new commanders real quickly. This guy with this man. Put in the commanders. Lead. Flank and he will do this. Then we'll stand on our ships to save some money. So my hope here really is that they will just come for us directly down here, attack into a mountainous area, or we can push the war score in a manner where we get to force a white piece. That would be good. Those are the options that we're looking for. One of our lovers is pregnant. Good. See? The numbers look really weird with the with the scaled um, interface, but the text is so tiny. Troth can marry. Oh, okay. Now they're coming for us. But let's see if the siege is finished before then. And so it is, and we have 23, which might be enough for a white piece. Sadly, it is not, and they will 
most likely destroy us. So we did have some mechanics open. Like defense. But I feel like defense is all up here. Yeah. We could go for melee techniques, but attack is not what we need. Cavalry doesn't really matter, we don't have much of it. A little bit. Could go for a little bit more morale and retinues. Could also try and run. But again, this is a very favorable position. It's mountainous terrains, they're attacking us. We have halfway okay leaders, but I believe they're going to win. So what we're going to do, instead of stand and fight, we're going to run and attack them up here. Because we saw them coming. I don't think we get out. Yeah, we're not getting out. They will get the fight. Let's see how the fight ends up working out. Oh, we have one flank holding fast, but our center is... Not doing well, and the flank that is actually defensible did break. The center held the longest, but in the end we were quite destroyed, sadly. We're probably going to lose this war. That's fine. You win some, you lose some. Doesn't matter too much. Okay, some married here. We'll just see what we can do here. Because at least that way we are kind of hiding behind the Byzantine army. And this is attacking the trade post, I think. My wife is pregnant, good stuff. Speaking of trade posts, let's check our trade zones again. Check our own trade post, which we can't afford to upgrade. Uh, this one is our own anyway. Looked at the wrong one there for a moment. We've lost 28%, which is a big shame. And they're attacking Venice directly now. I don't think we can make up for it. So I think it's it's a good moment to surrender. They take the city. Which again, doesn't matter too, too much to us. We will lose a whole bunch of troops, but it's fine. We don't need them right now. Um, Yeah, legitimize the boy. They will, of course, accept our surrender. And thus, we lose our city down here, which is a bit of a shame. But we still have the trade post. Alright. Ooh, we could also upgrade our own trade post now. And we're going to go with a flat tax income. Let's demand some monetary compensation of the people traveling through our land to eventually make up for it all. We're not doing great militarily. I stood down a whole bunch of troops there, which I said isn't isn't all that important and I sort of stand by that, but sort of also not. <laughs> mm, right. We'll we'll see which of our sons becomes halfway decent before we decide what to do. Speaking of which, do you have children or anyone an heir? Oh no, we are possessed now. Hmm. We have improved relationships with someone in our dungeon. Okay, let's see. Um, how much do we get as a ransom? 25 gold, that's nothing. How do we get 25 gold from you? You're a patrician. Should be worth more than that. Not. That's a big shame. Ah, oh, look at that. There are some 
decent ones now. Lucif Shadow. Fuse, a half brother. I don't think I'm doing well. Uh, we have this young girl. No, we are not going to hurt her. Let's see. Let's become stressed. We might die of stress, but our succession is secure. Though our successor is older than us. And another trueborn son. Rift. Are you not married? Should go and marry. With one of the Amalfi girls. Bring us a non aggression pack with them. Merchant Enclave was built. Yeah. Plus one direct income is definitely better than upping the trade value. Which in the end helps everyone, including your enemies, and you don't generally want to help your enemies. We could start building up a retinue, which I think is very important for um, the military power of these republics. Oh, prisoner escaped. Oh no. Let's see. Maybe we can run some people we don't really want. Like this girl I don't care to have. Or this girl. Oh, I ransomed the wrong one to him. Okay, do you still have money to get this one? Very good. So he's just a mayor. I don't care to keep a mayor imprisoned. Only our direct rivals. Good, so we've made a bunch of money off of ransoms. I would probably build more cities in these places. Let's see what can we do with our palace. Can we do anything with our palace? Don't really have the money. Fortified vault. Intrigue plus one and plus five tax income. Well, that's a fantastic little income boost. Morale of armies plus 20%. Wow. Retinue size. Wow. Yeah, I, I see. I see. All the power is in the palace, clearly. And probably with the retinues. So let's build a little bit of retinue. Can I have pikemen, which are insanely good, especially being in Venice, where you are on a defensive terrain most of the time anyway. He should go... And let's send him in a stewardship direction. And maybe get some internal non-aggression pacts or something, I don't know. Nah, probably not. <laughs> Can we upgrade this boy? Yeah, we could go for more tax income or more garrison. Mm, garrison size, retinue size. I feel like we need the income, but we're so close to upgrading that vault. Just 40 more gold. When are we going to go with this one? This is the best bang for the buck that we can do right now. Besides getting retinues. Once our son comes of age, we need to start putting them into important positions. Marshal, our spy master can be a grand inquisitor, so maybe he likes us a little bit better. Let's check the laws. I haven't done anything about the laws yet. Title revocation allowed. Two undecided. Can we do something about the council? Abolish it? Everyone is against that. We'll have to do something about it at some point. 
Centralization. Don't really need to do that. At some point we'll have to stack our council with our kids. Which right now don't like us all that much. <laughs> because there's all these legitimized bastards. So let's see, can't we get a non-aggression pack with him? Ah, uh, it does not look like it. No, but we could get a non-aggression pact with the Byzantines, probably. Try. Um, would be very costly, so we can't, actually. Um, my poem went all wrong. The feeling I wanted to express lost among the words. Failure made me question my passion for writing poetry. The sweet sound of money should make him eager to help me. Do we want to be content? Not really. Let's ask a poet to help us our stuff mm, right okay Ooh. who gets to diplomacy he or i why is our diplomacy at zero anyway cruel greedy stubborn proving bravery ah this runs out soon luckily okay uh we can still make alliances if we just betroth our girls instead of our boys so let's try this no? Right then. Then we don't have to pay a price there. Um. Wait, did you guys break up? Oh yeah. Maybe we can get him directly on one of our girls. Good stuff. Do you like an alliance? How weak are you? Very weak. Galleon is stronger than you are. Let's go with West Frank here to often a non-aggression pack with them. They're already betrothed to someone. Hey, you want an alliance? Wow. Why do both these... Well, they're really strong, so with them we definitely want an alliance. Let's go for that. Um, and... What else do we do? Right, upgrade our palace is what I wanted to do. Fortified vault. Plus one intrigue and plus five tax income. Like, that's a direct income to us, I think. So it should go from plus 18 to plus 23. Or it's plus five a year, and then it's not that much, but... Should be. 18... Okay, you want us to join your war. Who are we fighting? I think we're going to send our levies, our personal levies, and we'll send half of them. Less than half. We'll send something. Don't you worry now. It's not a whole lot. Okay, let's get these in there. Get down our ships. Oh no, what did we die of? Severe stress. It feels like they tweaked that a little bit. Stress seems to be much more powerful now than it used to. All right, okay. So, 
Uh, we need an air that can actually win out here. Um, let's check through here. You don't get the job. Um, Chancellor. Yeah, okay, you're not great, but you're halfway good. Mayor. Our extra steward. Our spy master. Like us well enough, that's good. Do you go... And... Collect taxes at home? Yeah, you go train troops. And you go and improve relationships at home. You're still doing your thing. Why not title? Designated regent. Who likes us best? This girl here. Okay, let's see. He's a good one. And he is our heir. So let's give him some jobs. High Admiral was one which was really good. Where is he? There. High Admiral, High Judge rather. And let's also make him a commander. So he has a bunch of... I mean, he's shrewd and greedy. He's good. He's, he's gonna he's gonna go up in the world. Should we intermarry? The half aunt? No. Let's look for something good there. The genius girl. Two hundred and two. Do we pay that? Is that is that what I pay? I'd rather. Get a standard woman then. <laughs> He's a genius. She's a bastard. There we go. Let's do that then. Okay. How many people do we have at court anyway? Adult male family members. You still. How are our trade practices coming along? Not very. Okay, we also have lovers. We don't have... Oh. Okay. Um, right, we need to do something. And I think... Production? Difficult one. You should definitely write a book. He's good. Carousing won't help us much. We definitely don't want to lead troops, no. Um. Hmm. Family focus. Uh. Let's go for a family focus and write a book. Wait. Oh no, we don't have learning high enough and we're never going to get learning high enough either. All right, we'll just sit on the family focus for a bit then. And we will need to Work through campaign funds. Get our heir elected. Which is not ideal because obviously you're tying up your funds which you would rather spend on upgrading stuff. Obviously. Where the hell are you going? I don't think he knows himself. Let me join you. Somewhere.
Ah, he's going there. And imprison him. What are you? You're nothing. We'll imprison him. Ooh, we got some extra attacks at home. Stuff. I believe they're going to attack here. So we'll just join them in that battle. Put one of our commanders actually in charge. We get a little bit of war score going. But I want to build a garrison. Let's secure our succession because we're pretty old. There we go. I'm straight ahead. A young talented artist has pointed. Eh. Yeah, okay, sure. Let's do something for the dynasty. Oh, wow, what? I thought it was five gold. I misread that heavily. It's not just five gold. Okay, we need to win this uh, here to. Okay, we got zero money out of it. Well done, us. <laughs> but we broke a siege for him. So that should mean that we have a war score contribution. Well, yeah, 337. So um, being out of money is really bad for us. Because that definitely means that um, we are losing money at home because we might get smugglers set up and stuff. That's really, really, really bad. I don't want that. Let's attach so we can finally stop chasing our allies. Let's hope nothing bad crops up here. No, we have avoided disaster. Very good. I'm I'm a little bit hesitant still on uh, how much I enjoy this because it's it's very difficult to keep in power, but I also don't know how important it e actually is to keep in power. Oh, well, we can change this so we can uh, have title revocation allowed. Can we also abolish the council power? Yeah, let's do that. Change something in our favor. Very good. 